Hey, how's it going? Jonathan here. I want to show you in this video uh, how you can sell your coaching, uh, consulting services, or even online course uh, on autopilot, uh, even if you don't have a really big personal brand, right? Um, it doesn't matter what how big your following is. What matters is you can bring value to your customer. Okay, so uh, you can use webinar funnels because they are on autopilot. They are 24-7 running in the background. And because you have refined uh, your presentation, right? I want, I want to show you exactly uh, how you actually can uh, run it so it sells for you all the time. Okay, so um, I actually do this myself as well. So I want to show you, break down to you my exact funnel so that you know I eat my own medicine, right? Like if, if, I, if I tell you I'm doing something, like I, I want to show you as well. Okay, so if you can see here, right? Okay, to be fair, it's like a really shitty funnel at this point in time. <laughs> but like it's, uh, it's my cringy face. Okay, so um, you can see right here, right? Uh, what I'm doing is I, I sell like marketing services, right? To help companies grow and stuff. Okay, so like my offer is like how we help our clients grow from like $5,000 per month unprofitable to $100,000 per month profitable. Right, so this is my opt-in page, and it's where uh, I'll collect uh, the email address of my potential uh, leads and customers. Right, and so I, I I collect that email so that in the future I can send them emails and educate them about my product as well as retarget them in the future uh, through ads as well. Okay, so right here you can see I have an introduction video just to build trust and rapport. Right, all I'm trying to do is to build maximum trust at scale. And so if I run traffic to this offer right here, uh, there will be a lot of people who understand what I'm trying to sell here. Okay, and then uh, you can see the opt-in page very easy, and I basically offer. Them, tell them exactly what they're gonna get in this case study. Okay, so after that, um, okay, so like for someone, I'm driving like Facebook traffic to this page right now, and like I'm spending literally like twenty dollars per day. So don't don't think like uh, if you don't have a lot of money or if you don't have a lot to spend on, on advertising and stuff, right? It means you cannot do this. Okay, you can do this at any stage of your of your business, and it's gonna be profitable as long as uh, you understand your numbers. Okay, so let me uh, continue on as well. Okay, so this is my opt-in page, and it's basically uh, the function of it is to basically tease your product and service. Okay, so like uh, this is my case study here. So people are like, oh my goodness, how did this guy do this, right? So they are very very curious. So they'll definitely opt in. Okay. Once they opt in here, they will see um, a basically a case study. Okay, of a webinar. And basically, I have my case studies here as well as and uh, other things. But this is a video webinar. And what what should you be putting in your webinar, right? Okay. Let me explain to you. So all you're trying to do in the webinar is trying to sell the person uh, on understanding what your product and service is. Okay. It's a 24/7 salesperson for you, and it's the best version of, of yourself because uh, you have refined the process and presentation already before putting it out there. Right, so uh, you're supposed to introduce yourself, uh, share your vision uh, story, as well as build a lot of rapport, as well as show the type of results that you have gotten for your past clients. Right, so and uh, give them tons of value. So, right, so for for mine, it's like I'm selling marketing services. So, um, the customer needs to understand what I am doing for them. Right, so it gives them value. It trains them on what I actually do, and also educates them on what I'm going to teach them. Okay, how the entire system works and how we how we do uh, advertising for them. Okay, it's also meant to knock down uh, false objections and false beliefs that they have. Right. So for example, uh, for me, right, it's like uh, a lot of people say, hey, uh, running advertising is gonna be expensive, right, for me. Uh, then the, uh, a very very common objection that I get is is that. So how do I respond to this objection? So in this video, I say actually no, it does not uh, take a lot of money because. Um, all you're trying to do is cash flow. Once you are profitable uh, on your ads, right, it's just gonna cash flow, and you don't spend additional money. Your net, your net profit, right, it does not decrease. You're just increasing at, at the same time. Okay, so that's um, an objection. Okay, uh, another one could be like, um, for example, if you're selling how to build a website services, right, uh, people will be saying the objection is, hey, I don't know code. But then uh, you can you can squash the objection saying, hey, uh, you actually don't even need to know any technical background to build a website. Okay, so uh, hopefully that you understand what I mean. And all you're trying to do is uh, build a uh, like trust, uh, build a lot of rapport as well as make them like trust and respect you. Okay, makes sense. Okay, yeah. Afterwards, as you can see on the third step of my funnel here, um, it's a book a call page. So if they're actually interested, right, they will actually go to, into this page and uh, book a call with me. Okay, so if, if you can see here, my, my calendar uh, scheduler is here as well. And so basically, I will hop on a, 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 a um. I will hop on a call with them and then I talk to them as well and then see how we can help them. Okay, so that's basically uh, my book a call page. Okay, on the back end as well, I'm running. Okay, I uh, is my automation section, but basically um, I'm giving them an email sequence and I'm telling them about my story of how I've started uh, learning ads as well as you give give them tons of value and training uh, to actually show them uh, what we're actually doing to help clients and the results that we're getting for them. Okay, so all it's trying to do is like trying to push people down the sales funnel so that they urge them to actually book a call uh, later with us as well. Okay, so let me explain to you why a webinar funnel is so um, powerful, right? It's because you don't really rely on luck and chance, okay? I don't know about you, but like if you want to grow your business, you don't 
rely on luck and chance. You must uh, control uh, the variable so that they, they, you can grow profitably and you understand uh, your metrics, okay? So uh, a webinar funnel is very, very powerful because the sales process is identical all the time and the person understands uh, your product and service in the same way. So every time you hop on a call with them or they, uh, they become a customer, right? They become the customer the same way and you understand all the objections uh, that they have, okay? Second one is like uh, your video is the best version of yourself. So you're selling your service uh, because it's refined. Right, so you know definitely the person selling, which is you, um, is going to be the best version of your sales pitch. Make sense? The, you, you won't like wake up uh, at 8 a.m. and like sell a, sell a different way. Okay, the third one would be uh, the person who gets on a phone with you is already pre-framed already. They already like, trust and respect you. Right, so for example, like me, right, uh, my own webinar is like 23 minutes. Okay, if you have watched 23 minutes of me, do you already like, trust and respect me? Yes, okay? All, you, all you're trying to do is to, to make sure that there's a fit there between uh, you and the customer so that uh, you, you know that you can help them, okay? So um, before even hopping on, on a call, all of these leads are actually warm leads because they have already seen you in person. Make sense? Okay, lastly, uh, they understand your service and want to work with you, right? So people, um, if they actually book a call with me, right, they actually have to fill up like an eight-question uh, survey form before they actually even can book a call. Right, so it really pre-qualifies the customer, and it ensures that the person uh, booking a call is qualified. Right, they don't want to book a call with you if they they won't fill up an eight question survey. Right, okay, it, it doesn't have to be eight questions, but basically, the the harder you make it, the more qualified it is. Right, and for me, it's eight questions. Okay, you can put like thirteen questions, twenty questions, like it doesn't matter, uh, as long as you are trying to uh, put barriers and filters uh, to to protect your time as well. Right, so you only want to be talking to people who are ready to buy now and ready to buy uh, at at this moment in time. Right, so um, like this is all autopilot, and as long as you like run traffic uh, through paid advertising and stuff, right, uh, you can definitely do this, okay. And it's great because it's autopilot, right. All you gotta do, honestly, is like sit on your ass and uh, wait for wait 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 for leads to come in, right. Wait for leads to come in, or if it's a automatic uh, funnel as well, then it'll just wait for sales to come in. Okay, and then you can focus on other things like uh, creating content for your business or whatever it is. Okay, hopefully I gave you uh, a good sense of uh, what how a webinar funnel uh, structures and how it actually can be applied to your business. Okay, if you're actually uh, interested to in working with me and my agency as well, uh, I'll put a link in the description and you can check it out as well. Okay, uh, we've got case studies and stuff. All right, uh, how hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, yep, see you in the next one. Okay, have a good time.